you know, feel like I'm on the LA interstate because it's, you know, I don't care, but I can bash people. It's fun. I can just, and who cares? If their car gets wrecked, my car gets wrecked, we're all there to have a good time. It's just a figure eight car. It's going to get wrecked. So there's a re no reason not to have fun with it while you can't. When I first, you know, started going, if you could buy cars for 50 bucks, I was like, that sounds like a perfect hobby to do in the summertime. So I'll start right. From, Right after my car gets crashed, I'll start looking for another car. Um, you'd like to spend as least amount of money as you can to get a good car. I, I don't like telling them that I'm going to buy their car that they think gets great gas mileage and is a really good family car and all this stuff. I don't like being like, oh, by the way, I'm going to take all the windows out and beat the crap out of it here in about 20 minutes. When we first get back here, I'll probably sit on it for a few days and just kind of think about what I'm going to do. But then it's nice to have a nice hot day when the first thing to do is take the windows out. Getting the windows out is probably my most frustrating thing because I'm yet to get one perfect. I mean, I'm not sure if it's the right tools or just the frustration or I, I don't know what it is. Cutting the muffler off is a pretty fun one too because then it likes it sounds a little better and it's a little more like you're racing when you're rallying around your parking lot and testing it out. It's a little more fun than when it's just kind of a little grocery getter. <laughs> And my dad at first was didn't really want me to do it because he thought all the work would get pushed onto him. But my mom was, we've always been thrill seekers, all my whole family, and I've broken so many bones in my body. She was just, whatever, it'll be fun. And then that was my parents were pretty cool with it. Once they saw me do the first race, they were, they were addicted. I got a lot of friends at race on them. It's kind of how I got into it. We all kind of teamed together. But when we're out there on the track, it's a lot of competition. I mean, we're not exactly out there to, you know, make friends. But you know, you definitely look out for them and try to take care of them. If I put you in the put you in the berms and stuff, I'm not I'm not, I'm not out there to lose. I don't care if you're my friend or not. Like, you know, if we make it to the final heat, then it's on. I'm just so happy most of the time. I don't even care. I'm just having a good time. There's times you get get pretty pissed off, and there's some swear words coming out of your mouth and stuff, just because things aren't going your way, or your car's not running right. And... Um, it's like an excuse to get road rage and drive around with the biggest smile on your face. There's no other way to really exp explain it. It's fun. You know, you go out there, you bash into people, you get bashed around, and you get to go fast. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.